बहुत मुश्किल से एक ऐसा वक्त आया है जब औरतें अपने घरों से बाहर निकली हैं काम करने के लिए टू मेक समथिंग ऑफ देयर लाइफ अपने पैरों पे खड़े होने के लिए इट टुक अस ऑलमोस्ट अ सेंचुरी टू ब्रेक द शैकल्स ऑफ पेट्रिया द क्वेश्चन इज हैव यू रियली ब्रोकन दम काम तो हम कर रहे हैं ऑफिस जा रही हैं बट आर वी सेफ इन दोज ऑफिस ये कहानी है राजस्थान के एक छोटे से गांव में रहने वाली औरत की जो उन औरतों के लिए लड़ रही थी जो अपने लिए खुद नहीं लड़ सकती उसकी इस लड़ाई ने उसे जीवन भर की सजा दे दी उसे खुद तो जस्टिस नहीं मिला लेकिन हमारे देश में एक नया कानून आ गया Women are treated as goddesses in India but this is the biggest hypocrisy in this country the same men who worship them also treat them as mere objects to satisfy their bodily wants women are the regular victims of sexual abuse and sexual crimes everywhere in this country we are discussing today vishakha versus state of rajasthan this case highlighted the evil of sexual harassment that women have to face at workplace this is a story of bhavri devi who was a social worker also known as Sathin working for women's development program in Batheri Rajasthan she was working on a campaign to end child marriages as part of her job she worked directly with families to prevent the marriages and report these cases to police when urgent follow up action was needed this included one particular case where bhavri devi reported a family from a gujar community to the police they were arranging the marriage of a 1 year old in fact the intervention of the authorities failed the marriage did take place and bhavri devi was boycotted from the village because everybody believed that it was because of her action that police got involved in the first place the family that conducted the marriage was an influential one they used their clout and bhavri devi lost her job but this wasn't enough five men attacked her husband and brutally gang raped her The police officials did not take the required steps to file the complaint but Bhavri Devi was firm she wanted justice and she went ahead with the complaint whenever a rape case is investigated a medical examination is conducted Bhavri Devi's medical examination was delayed for 52 hours and when finally the report was filed they did not even mention the commission of a rape the trial court acquitted all the accused due to lack of sufficient evidence but the judgment backfired and a pil was filed by a women's right group known as vishakha this pil drew attention on the enforcement of the fundamental rights of women at workplace under the provisions of articles 14 15 19 and 21 of the constitution of india a need for a legislation was felt which could protect women against sexual harassment at work determined to receive justice for the brutal acts committed against her bhavri devi took her case to a trial court in jaipur however the court acquitted all five men and in dismissing the case judges found it highly improbable that an uncle and his nephews would rape a woman together they also found it impossible to believe that bhavri's husband could have been restrained while watching his wife getting raped other reasons offered by the court including bhavri's delayed report to the police and the lack of medical evidence identifying the men who had raped a three judges bench consisting of the then chief justice of india justice j s verma with justice sujata v manohar and justice b n kirpal was constituted to hear the pil and decide on the same the court appointed three amicus curiae fali s nariman Ms Nana Kapoor and Ms Minakshi to assist the honorable apex court in dealing with the case the following issues were raised before the honorable court in the case of Vishakha versus state of Rajasthan whether sexual harassment at workplace amounts to violation of fundamental rights whether sexual harassment at workplace amounts to violation of the rights of gender inequality 
whether the courts are entitled to use the international laws in the absence of any specific gender rights and gender equality law, whether the employer possesses any responsibility for the sexual harassment faced by its employees at workplace. The lack of a law to protect women against sexual harassment at workplace was acknowledged by the Supreme Court of India. The court realized the need for proper and effective legislation that would deal with sexual harassment as Section 354 and Section 354A of the IPC were not sufficient to deal with the same. The court took reference from the international conventions to proceed with the case. It referred to the Beijing Statement of Principles on the Independence of Judiciary in the Law Asia region as well as the provisions of the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. Article 11, Clause 1, Clause A and Clause F prescribes the state to take all appropriate measures to eliminate discrimination against women in the field of employment. Article 24 states that the state shall undertake to adopt all necessary measures at the national level aimed at achieving the full realization. The Supreme Court framed the guidelines to prevent sexual harassment at the workplace known as Vishakha guidelines. These guidelines were the foundation for the sexual harassment of women at Workplace Prevention, Prohibition and Redressal Act 2013. The Vishakha guidelines created by India's Supreme Court were the first enforceable civil law guidelines on the rights of women to be free from any violence, threat or harassment in both public and private employment. This landmark victory led the Indian government to introduce legislation prohibiting sexual harassment at workplace and inspired other reforms across South Asia. The gang rape of Bhavri Devi happened in the early 90s. The legislation came out in 2013. But on a personal level, pe, Bhavri Devi didn't justice. Nahi mala. Despite widespread recognition of her story and the enactment of laws to protect women at work, Bhavri Devi has waited over two decades and is yet to receive justice against her attackers. Uske rapists aaj bhi acquitted him. Her fight continues and that is a reminder of the challenges that women have to face every day at every step in their lives to access justice.